click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends in today's video we are going to see block diagram and characteristics of instrumentation amplifier so let's begin with the topic Instrumentation amplifier is basically a difference amplifier. But before going to start with the instrumentation amplifier, let's see what are the basically need of signal conditioning and signal processing. Now, if we look at the block diagram of instrumentation system, then we will come to know that it consists of two blocks. The first block is transducer and the second block is signal conditioner. Transducer is basically a device which is used to convert one form of energy into another form. In many consumer and industrial applications, the measurement and control of quantities such as pressure, temperature, humidity are required. So we cannot apply this physical quantity directly to any system. Therefore, it is very much important to convert the physical quantity into the equivalent electrical signal. So the conversion process is done by a device called as transducer. So basically a transducer is a device which is used to convert one form of energy into another form. Transducer convert pressure, temperature, humidity into the equivalent electrical signal. But this output obtained from transducer cannot be directly applied to the instrumentation system because the output of the transducer is very low level signal. Therefore, it is necessary to signal conditioning and process the signal properly so that it can derive the instrumentation system. For that purpose, we use a block called as signal conditioner. The signal conditioner performs various functions like it performs amplification, attenuation of signal, filtering of signal, sampling, integration, differentiation, addition, subtraction, multiplication, squaring and many more operations. So when these operations perform on the signal, the signal get into the form so that it can derive the further instrumentation system. So this is what basically the need of signal conditioning. Now, now let's move to the block diagram of instrumentation system. Now instrumentation amplifier is basically a difference amplifier which meets a special requirement or we can say instrumentation amplifier is a signal conditioner only. We know that in case of instrumentation amplifier the first block is always a transducer because the quantities which are required to be measured and controlled are in the physical form and this physical quantities cannot be applied directly to the instrumentation system. Therefore it is very much important to convert this physical quantity into the equivalent electrical signal which may be current or voltage. So the conversion process is performed by a device called as transducer. The output of transducer is not capable of deriving the indicator or display present in the instrumentation system. Therefore, if we look at the block diagram of instrumentation amplifier, the block diagram consists of, it consists of transducer which is used for energy conversion process, then the low level signal of transducer is given to a pre-amplifier that is nothing but the second block of instrumentation amplifier. After that the instrumentation amplifier and the last block that means the output will be obtained on indicator or display. The pre-amplifier is basically a device which is used to convert the low level output obtained from transducer into a level so that it can derive instrumentation amplifier or a indicator or display present in the instrumentation system. So in case of instrumentation system or in case of instrumentation amplifier, the transducer is connected in a bridge circuit. The output of transducer is given to the pre-amplifier by using a cable and connector. Pre-amplifier amplifies the low level signal from transducer output and when the signal is further given to the instrumentation amplifier. The instrumentation amplifier is nothing but the signal conditioner unit only. So the instrumentation amplifier conditioning the signal by performing various operations on it like amplification, attenuation, integration, differentiation and many more. And finally the output will be obtained on indicator or a display unit. Now the instrumentation amplifier required to meet the certain characteristics or there are certain requirements that the instrumentation amplifier required to fulfill. So let's see what are the characteristics or requirement of instrumentation amplifier. There are many characteristics or requirement that uh, instrumentation amplifier required to fulfill. So let's see them one by one. So the first characteristics or requirement is precise amplification of low level signal. The instrumentation amplifier is expected to amplify the low level output from the transducer. Therefore, the gain of instrumentation amplifier required to be finite and it should be as high as possible. The gain of instrumentation amplifier is required to be 1000 
and it should be accurate and stable so that the instrumentation amplifier can provide a precise amplification. The second requirement that needs to fulfill by instrumentation amplifier is nothing but low noise. We know that the instrumentation amplifier is nothing but a difference amplifier. The difference amplifier having capability of rejecting the noise present at its input. The low noise requirement of the instrumentation amplifier is very much important when it is used in the biomedical applications because in case of biomedical application the signal comes from patient body and therefore the output is required to be very much accurate and stable. Because of this the noise present at the input of instrumentation amplifier is required to be as low as possible. Now let's move to the third requirement or third characteristics of instrumentation amplifier and the third characteristics is low thermal drift. The parameters of instrumentation amplifier is required to be constant with variation in temperature. The parameters are not supposed to be changed with change in temperature. The next characteristic is high input resistance as the instrumentation amplifier consists of op amp so ideally the input resistance or input impedance of the op amp is required to be very much high therefore in case of instrumentation amplifier the input resistance is required to be very much high so that it can avoid loading effect of the input source the next requirement of instrumentation amplifier is accurate closed loop gain the gain of instrumentation amplifier is not only required to be accurate but it should be adjustable easily the adjustment can be done by using a potentiometer so when we vary the value of potentiometer the gain can be easily adjustable the next requirement of instrumentation amplifier is low power dissipation the power consumption by instrumentation amplifier should be as low as possible so that it can produces less heat and that can improve battery life if the instrumentation amplifier works on a battery the next parameter that we need to consider while selecting or we can say the next characteristics of instrumentation amplifier is nothing but high cmrr cmrr is nothing but common mode rejection ratio the common mode rejection ratio is basically used to reject the common mode signal present at the input of any amplifier circuit. The most commonly, the signal present at both the input of op amp is nothing but the noise signal. Therefore, the noise signal required to be less in case of biomedical application or in case of any other application where stable and accurate output is required. So in case of instrumentation amplifier, the common mode rejection ratio should be as high as possible practically, but it should be infinite periodically. The next parameter that we need to consider is nothing but high slew rate. The high slew rate indicates that there will be less undistorted output in case of instrumentation amplifier if the slew rate becomes infinite or it becomes high. The high slew rate also provides undistorted output voltage swing at the output terminal of instrumentation amplifier. And the last but not the least the requirement is easy adjustable gain of instrumentation amplifier. This feature can be achieved if we use potentiometer in instrumentation amplifier. So by changing the value of potentiometer we can easily adjust the gain to accurate value so that we can get a desired and stable output. So these are the basically the characteristics or the requirement of instrumentation amplifier that we need to consider while using the amplifier in any applications. So this is what about the block diagram and characteristics or requirement of instrumentation amplifier. So I hope you understand this topic. So thank you very much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikira. Subscribe Ikira. Thank you.